confined in that one room looking outside the window listening to the birds chirping and thinking maybe there will be a time when we'll be going out with the family and enjoying the nature that was the time where i realized how lucky people are that is the time where i realized that the day i'm going to sit i'm going to share this pain with everyone to make them realize how blessed they are and they don't even consider them lucky that day i decided that i'm going to fight my fears we all have fears fear of unknown fear of losing people fear of losing health money we want to excel in career we want to become famous we want to get money we are scared all the time so i wrote down one by one all those fears and i decided that i'm going to overcome these fears one at a time you know what was my biggest fear divorce i was trying to cling on to this person who didn't want me anymore but i said no i have to make it work but the day i decided that this is nothing but my fear i liberated myself by setting him free and i made myself emotionally so strong that the day i got the news that he is getting married i sent him a text that i'm so happy for you and i wish you all the best and he knows that i pray for him today number 2 was i won't be able to be a mother again and that was quite devastating for me but then i realized there are so many children in the world all they want is acceptance so there is no point of crying just go and adopt one and that's what i did people think that they will not be accepted by the people because we in the world of perfect people are imperfect so i decided that instead of starting an ngo for disability awareness which i know will not help anyone i started to appear more in public i started to paint i decided that i'm going to join the national tv of pakistan as an anchor person and i have been doing a lot of shows for last 3 years I became the national goodwill ambassador for you and women Pakistan and now I speak for the rights of women children. We talk about inclusion, diversity, gender equality which is a must. Every time I go in public I always smile. It's always a big to the smile on my face and people ask me, "Don't you get tired of smiling all the time? What's the secret?" I always say one thing. That I have stopped worrying about the things that I have lost, the people that I have lost. things and people who were meant to be with me are with me and sometimes somebody's absence make you a better person cherish their absence it's always it's always a blessing in disguise live your life fully accept yourself the way you are be kind to yourself be kind to yourself i'll repeat be kind to yourself and only then you can be kind to others love yourself and spread that love life will be hard there will be turmoil there will be trials but that will only make you stronger so when you accept yourself the way you are the world recognizes you